Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Past is Alive. Another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday, and tonight we are sticking with last week's theme, 1987, except this week we're doing 87 Fleer instead of Don Russ, and hopefully we find some of the key rookies we're looking for tonight. We kind of came up short last week. We did find the Bonds and the Larkin last week, but hopefully this time around we find the Bo Jackson, the Larkin, the Bonds, and uh, Will Clark also in this set, and a couple other rookies as well, so... Hopefully we can find uh, at least one of each one of those tonight. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and get to ripping here. Thank you guys all for being here. We start off the top left, and John A. is up. 36 packs here. 17 cards per pack plus a sticker. I always like this set. I want to say I opened a box of these quite a while ago, maybe like six months ago or longer. So it's been a while. I picked these up a couple weeks back. And we're going to uh, do this box tonight, and then we're going to head into the 90s starting next week. I have some cool stuff lined up. I'm really excited about next week. Next Tuesday, we are going to be doing a jumbo box of 92 Bowman. I always love that set. Probably one of my favorite sets ever. Definitely in the top 10. So we have a jumbo box of those lined up for next Tuesday. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. John A is up first at the top left. And Ben Blackmore says, good luck, everyone. Chuck Chicago says, Brittany Hayden, was that you in the Mailman video? It definitely was. That was definitely a fun one to make. Gonna miss doing those. There's the uh, sticker card. Pretty sure we've all seen those around before. And off to a decent start there, the Aussie Smith. And there's the Ruben Sierra rookie card in the very first pack. Not a high-value card, but still a nice one if you collect rookies, like myself. And John Cruck. So two rookies off the bat there, Cruck and Sierra. And an Aussie Smith in the first pack. So not too bad for John A of a start there. And there's John A. Says, I want a fourth year Mattingly. Thanks a lot, John A. And thank you for being here tonight. Really appreciate that, man. And we'll find a fourth year Mattingly for you. There's the uh, White Sox sticker there. I apologize for my week-long hiatus. I was I spent the last few days trying to... Uh, actually, my whole house is like a science lab. I was trying to make a video on um, figuring out the age-old conundrum of unbreaking baseball cards in the early 90s up until the early 2000s. And I spent quite a good bit of time with different science experiments in my house, <laughs> all different kinds of sorts, trying to get to the bottom of unsticking 93 per deck. And... Kind of came up short. It was definitely uh, interesting to do it, though. There's a Puckett. Third-year Puckett, and there's a Ripken Jr. So, And a Sandberg. Very nice start to John A.'s stack here. And some rookies coming up. Nothing really notable there. And there's Brittany. He says, it really is a science lab, guys. Yeah, I definitely tried everything from uh, microwave to the freezer to steaming the cards to putting them on a grate above a space heater. And <laughs> definitely, I made a video about it, but uh, it's definitely pretty interesting. Was not able to solve that issue. And there's our buddy Jonathan H., Autistic Family Collectibles, is driving, but wanted to say hello to everyone and a special hello to Brittany and John. Good luck to those in the break. Please keep drama and personal questions out of the chat. Enjoy the simplicity of cards. Thanks a lot, Jonathan. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you for your well wishes. To Eric and the family. I really appreciate it, man. Can't thank you enough. And thanks for tuning in, Jonathan. And there's a second year Consego card. Actually, Wally Joyner's rookie card, but he has a regular base card in this set as well. But that's a pretty cool one, though. Joyner Canseco and Dwight Evans. Patrick says, I thought Bonds was in the update set. Bonds actually is in this set. McGuire is in the update set, and also Greg Maddox. Both of those guys can be found in the update set. Pretty decent one. But uh, the one, main ones we're looking for are Bonds, Bo Jackson, Larkin, Will Clark. Probably the best ones in here. And we saw the Crook already, and the Ruben Sierra. And there's a Sandberg and Dave Parker. Hey, Dave Durango. What's happening, man? Saberhagen, Seiko, Jim Rice, and Puckett. All-star card. That's a cool one. 
and Hebe Brooks. Yeah, so not sure if I'm going to release the Science Lab video or not, but <laughs> it is pretty funny. Paul Elsa's, I'll never forget when I when I got a, the update set from Kahoot and the Swindell is sleeved. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that. I should have put it on one touch. And there's Steve Rodemacher. It says, did you try steaming them apart? Hey, thanks a lot, Steve. You know what I did? I put them in a, in a Ziploc bag and held them over uh, boiling water for a while. Didn't work. Like, with some things it works, like, some cards are easier to separate. Like, I tried some mid-90s Pinnacle, and I had a lot better luck with those. They came right apart, but 93 per deck, I feel like, is virtually impossible to unbrick. I don't think there's any possible way to get those apart without paper loss. And it was fun, too. Like, using the microwave, I put some, like, 95 score in there, and um, there can be foil cards in 95 score, so watch those got, those got fried. <laughs> so... There's a Winfield robbing you out. It was definitely a good time. Eric Davis and Doc Gooden and Clemens. I don't think I've ever seen that car before. It's pretty cool. You know, the problem all started in 91. 91 Stadium Club with the freaking UV coating. And it go. I mean, the problem goes the whole way up to like the early 2000s. Like Tops, Bowman. And it sucks because like I'd love to open a box of like 2001 Bowman, but looking for the pool Pujols rookie. And like eat your own stuff, but uh, I worry about getting those and having them all bricked up. Like Eric had that problem with, I think, what was it, 98 Bowman maybe? And I like to uh, like to um, do like 97 Bowman too and look for like the Holiday Rookie and Beltry, but I worry about those as well. So it kind of sucks. It takes a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, possible cards out of the equation for ripping open. There's a Schmidt. But I, I would love to finally solve that problem and just figure out once and for all how to unbrick 93 per deck. Especially, like, a lot of people are looking for the Jeter rookie card now in uh, Series 2 of 93 per deck. And I feel like I've watched a lot of videos of people just struggling to pry those apart. Hey, Hard R. And there, there's literally no videos on YouTube of people, like, really successfully doing them. Like, I, like there's somebody that puts them in the microwave and uh, separates them with a butter knife. I, I saw that video... I feel like a butter knife might not be the best way to separate them. Like, I was trying to use a business card. I used a blow dryer as well, Dave Durango. Did not work. Gary Carter. Yeah, I definitely thought the blow dryer was going to work. There's Phil Necro. Chuck Finley, this is actually his rookie card. No sign of Bonds, Larkin, Jackson, or Will Clark yet. Hunter B. Matt Williams is actually in the update set for 87. Also has a rookie card in 87 tops traded. Didn't make the regular base set. Yeah, Dave, I definitely tried that with uh, a couple different packs. Like, I was trying, like, 95 score, uh, some pinnacle from the mid-90s that are always bricking together. But 93 per deck is is uh, a real pain. And there's an all-star team card. This is pretty much the only insert you can find in this set. Tony Fernandez. Some nice ones in there that can be found. They're, like... Donnie Baseball. Speaking of Donnie Baseball, there he is. For John A., you called that one earlier, man. <laughs> Looking for a fourth-year Donnie Matty Don Manley. There we go. And there's Larkin Rookie Card. Nice. The first one shows up. Definitely off-center from uh, left to right and a little top to bottom as well. But uh, there is the Larkin Rookie. Nice one there. First one shows up in the second-to-last pack. And there's Chuck Chicago. It says, hit the like button, folks. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate that. Thanks for being here. And thank you again for your package that you sent for the last FMF. The um, Commodore 64 Ghostbusters game. I actually have it sitting right next to me. Chuck actually sent me this, if you guys didn't see that. Pretty freaking awesome for my collection of Ghostbusters stuff. Didn't have this one. Please uh, take a second uh, sub to him, too, if you're not already. There's a Ranger sticker. Hunter says, love 87 Fleer update and 87 Fleer. Hey, it's Chad Hopkins. What's going on, man? And there is the Moyer rookie card. So all the rookies are coming out for John A. Haven't seen the Jackson or Bonds yet, but uh, nice stack overall, though. And Pete Incavilia, that's actually his rookie as well. And Dave Smith. Not too bad. Definitely got uh, one of the cards you asked for there, John. The Mattingly, which is a nice one. And the Larkin rookie is really nice, too. Not bad at all. 
Anybody wondering, these were 15 a stack shipped for a spot in these. We move on to the top right with our buddy Ripping for Ripkins, a.k.a. Corey. And there's El Canon. It says, glad to see you back at the Passes Alive. I pulled me a 3 out of 5 Tatis Junior Auto from Update today and lost it. you got to be kidding me, man. Check out Prime Man and Dave Durango for, for more legit pulls. Thanks a lot, El Canon. Really appreciate that, man. That is crazy. 3 out of 5 Tatis Jr. and you lost it? <laughs> Hopefully it turns up, man. And thanks a lot for that. Please check out El Canon. Give him a sub if you haven't yet. He's growing pretty fast. And the other guys as well. Prime Man, of course. And Dave Durango. Ripping for Ripkins. I'm not sure if I saw him in here or not. John Ace is good bunch of cards, uneven centering. Yeah, definitely the, the best ones. Definitely off with the centering. But a uh, nice batch overall of stars and rookies alike. There's a Brett Dykstra. Second year Dykstra. Tim Raines. Hey, Fitzy. Chuck says, anyone pulling 2019 Topps holiday cards? Yeah, those are pretty cool. I almost bought a box of those over the weekend. I know Eric bought a bunch of them. I'm not sure when he's going to be doing those. Uh, Elkanon says, I lost my mind, LO. I didn't lose a card. Okay. Yeah, I don't blame you at all. I was going to say, how did you lose it? That would be crazy. That's an awesome pull, though. Bobby Witt. This is actually, um, I think this could be an error card. Let us double check it. Nah, this is not the air. Yeah, this is the air card. This is Bollywood rookie card. The it's supposed to be Tulsa, as you can see there, Tusla, and the ERA is wrong. 0. 0.643. It's supposed to be 6.43. That's pretty cool. Wit error card there and rookie. And we have an insert card coming up here. Steve Sachs. Some of you guys might remember seeing Steve Sachs on uh, the episode of The Simpsons. Homer, I think it was it Homer at the bat. <laughs> My favorite Simpsons episode ever. If you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. There's Chad Hopkins. says, cross fingers I got line on two buck cards. Thanks a lot, Chad. I appreciate that. Definitely cross my fingers for you, man. Hopefully uh, you make a video about those. Show them off to us. If you're not subbed to Chad Hopkins, please check him out. He's a good friend of the channel. Definitely keep my eye out for buck stuff for you when we're out, Chad. I don't come across it too often, though. Fitzy says, Homer at the Bat. That is the name of the episode. I think it was from, like, 91 or something like that. But Steve Sachs is in it. I want to say he gets arrested and starts crying. Pretty hilarious. Paul L. says, The Simpsons is the only reason I know how Steve's, or who Steve Sachs is. <laughs> Dave Rigetti. Let's hope there's a Steve Garvey. Let's hope for a Ripken for our buddy Corey or one of these good rookies. I think Corey got the Bonds rookie last week out of 87 Don Russ. So pretty excited. Next week we'll do 92 Bowman Jumbo Packs. There's 18 per box. And those boxes are pretty expensive. They The last few that sold, sold for like over 400 bucks on eBay. And I was lucky I was able to get one for about 300 so they are pretty pricey, but uh, just because, I don't know, if you pull one of those key rookies like Piazza or obviously the Rivera and you get a high PSA grade, they're worth a good chunk of money. Bob Horner looking very out of breath and sweaty in that picture. Hey, TLM. Devon White rookie card, Bip Roberts, Hershiser, and Bob Boone. Hopefully you guys can see all right. I feel like the lighting in here is kind of dim right now. I always liked this set, though. I never really had too many of these when I was younger. It's because uh, Eric and I didn't start collecting until a couple years after this. 88 or 89, somewhere in there. And Kevin Seitz, a rookie card. Not too much value to that these days. It's a nice Pete Rose manager card. Shane B says, Dim Letty makes it spicy. And there's Donnie Baseball and Strawberry. And we have four packs left for Corey. I'm not sure if he's in here or not. I haven't seen him yet, but I'm kind of missing a lot of these comments. I think the Bonds... Eric did two boxes of these a while ago. I want to say the Bonds was in the bottom right. I think it was like the very last card in the stack. 
Dave Concepcion. And there's a Clemens, who's actually on the front of the box. Hey, Alex RCM. And Eddie Murray. A couple nice Hall of Famers in there. Hey, FDC. Welcome to the stream, man. Clint Hurdle, no longer the Buckos manager. Galarraga, second year for him. Valenzuela, Strawberry, Don Sutton, and Eck. Joe Yankee says, how much is a pack uh, next week? I want five. You know what? I haven't figured out um, the exact number of a pack. I need to obviously break even on the 92 Bowman. I'm not looking to make any money off it really, but to take into consideration my like ink that I have to use and the packaging and whatnot, which is only a few bucks. It'd be around 20 bucks though. Cause I think I paid like it was like right under 300 bucks. It was a stupid PA sales tax. Every time I buy something on eBay now, I get charged tax. I think tax was like 16 bucks on that box, but I love 92 Bowman so much and I've always wanted to rip a box of those. I never have until uh now. So pretty excited. There's a mess of things. It says, hey everybody, what have I missed? Thanks, Mess of Things. Really appreciate that. Thanks for being here. Um, you didn't miss too much yet. We pulled the Larkin. We pulled the Crux, Sierra, Moyer. A couple of rookies. No Bonds. No Jackson or uh, Will Clark yet, though. And there's a first nice insert. Pocket All-Star team for Corey. It's a decent one there. Bruce Benedict. And there is our favorite omen, Dan Quisenberry. Looking overly happy there. And Sid Fernandez. And we have one pack left for Corey. Hope for some last pack magic here for you. There's a Fisk. Terry Steinbach, that's actually his rookie card. And Nolan Ryan is not a bad one at all. Not too shabby. Definitely off from top to bottom, but haven't seen that one yet tonight, so that's a decent one. Paul also says, there we go, the legend himself, Quisenberry. <laughs> hey, Jaybird, 1502, what's happening? And Chuck says, I bought 1987 Fleer Complete set in a tin case. You know, I actually got that set for Christmas, probably when I was like, I don't know, in eighth grade or something like that. Pretty awesome. And when I, whenever I got it, uh, the Bonds and Jackson, a few other ones were already in top loaders. Just kind of floating around inside of there. But that's cool, though. That's the same one I have, the tin case. So not a bad stack for Corey. No key rookies we're looking for, but still found a bunch of Hall of Famers and whatnot. The pocket all-star car is pretty cool. And going to Ryan F. with the bottom left. Yeah, I hope to have more videos for you guys this week. I know it's kind of sucks I haven't put anything out in a week. But... um. I said I was really hopeful that I'd be able to unbrick those cards and have like some awesome revelation that everyone can share in and go buy old boxes of like 93 per deck and all, all kinds of other ones and be able to unbrick them without paper loss, but <laughs> it didn't work didn't work out so well. As Boom Slang says, hey John, did you see who's coming to my town on the ninth? I don't have any Ackroyd cards. Guess I'll have him sign a bottle of his vodka. Thanks, Boom Slang, and thanks for popping in here. You know what? I saw he's coming to Pittsburgh too to like uh, fine wine and good spirits. I actually met him last year. I stood in line for like three hours. Didn't think it was going to take that long, but it was like 50 bucks. You got like a medium size uh, skull head and a vodka and he autographed that. And then he autographed like one thing you took in. So I have like a, I think a custom Ghostbusters poster from the first movie, the rooftop scene that he signed. It was a really quick uh, meet and greet though. It was basically like, I don't know, less than 10 seconds. Sit next to him, get a picture. And then he signs it and sends you on your way. But still pretty awesome, though. I'm actually, there's a uh, vintage toy con going on this weekend in Jersey, in Parsippany, that I was thinking about maybe coming to. I'm not sure if I will or not. There's George Buss. says, hi, I just broke the 100 sub mark. Thanks a lot, George. I appreciate that, man. Please uh, check his channel out as well. And congrats on breaking the 100 sub mark. I'll definitely give you a sub after the video is over. Try to get you up to... 150 here, George. Thanks for being here, man. I really appreciate that. Let's hope there's a Drayback rookie card. 
And Mitchell's second year, Steve Carlton, 4,000 strikeouts. And <laughs> there's Eric Plunk's second year card. Looking hideous as always. And the RMM says, I never pulled the Will Clark rookie from this set. Really wanted that card as a kid. That was definitely a hot card back when we were kids. No doubt about it. I don't know if I've ever pulled a Will, Will Clark out of one of these packs or not. Thanks, Chuck. I appreciate that, man. Wrath of Cain. I haven't subbed to you yet. I thought I was subbed to you. I'll check that out after the video is over. Could have sworn that I was. Baines and Barfield. Joe Necro. And old Charlie Huff and Bobby Witt. Austin Farmer. I don't know if I saw that. Maybe I missed it. I apologize if I did. I did. Austin Farmer says at work, but I'm here. Got a presentation on Thursday. Thanks, man. I appreciate that and appreciate you tuning in while you're at work. Thanks a lot, man. Austin Farmer has a channel as well. If you like the baseball card content, please check him out. Give him a sub. Pendleton. Don Sutton and Necro. Bonds and Bo, where are you hiding at? Paul also says, I get more hyped when we pull the bad omens than, than the good rookies. I've definitely noticed that. <laughs> you do. You definitely do. Boggs and Hernandez. Never forget the legendary Seinfeld episode with Keith Hernandez and the spit. Franco and Valenzuela. Carter. And Ron Karkovice. Rookie card there. Hope to have some different content for you guys in the next few days. I know I've been saying that, but it's been a pretty crazy last few days. So, Bly Levin. Old RJ Reynolds, Lansford, and nothing too great in that pack. The RMM says, how many Bonds rookies does Eric have? The 87 Toffs rookie? Jeez, man. I mean, it's probably 500 or more. He just bought one, I want to say, again over the weekend. Anytime he sees that card for a dollar, he buys it, so... I think I probably have like, I don't know, five of that card. He has like 500. Hey, John H., thanks for stopping back in. Old Mookie Wilson there. And Andy Van Slyke in the Cardinals uniform. He actually ended up going to the Buccos later on in the year. Harold Baines ends that pack out. There's Paulie Junkwax. Says, hey, John, thanks for showing the cards in my early years. Hope all is well, sir. Hey, thanks a lot, Paulie Junkwax, and thank you for being here. Glad that you like to relive the past and look at old cards like we do. Definitely uh, never get tired of it, unless it maybe is 91 Don Russ. <laughs> but thanks for being here, Polly Junkwax. Check him out too as well. Kirk Gibson. Uh, Jimmy Mano actually suggested doing a box of 81 Tops. I definitely would love to. Dawson. Solo Matt says, just how much does a box of these go for? Generally, these are around 40 bucks for a box. Sometimes you get lucky and maybe find them for like 30. <laughs> There's our buddy Justin Roberts. Is any one-armed Jim Abbott rookies in there? <laughs> What's happening, man? Jim Abbott actually didn't come onto the scene until 89. His first cards actually, you know what I lied, his first his first card is actually 88 tops traded USA. And Mal says if you're a teacher like your brother. I actually am not. I, I work in the uh, mental health field. I don't know if I could ever be a teacher. And there's a nice one. Clemens, all-star team. Probably one of the best ones of the set. Clemens and Mattingly. like that card a lot. Haven't seen that one before. It's about time a decent card came through from Ryan here. And we have one pack left. Hopefully the Bonds or Jackson's in here. Glenn, the sad Mariners fan, says, watch the video where a guy microwaves 93 per deck for six seconds and use a butter knife to slowly go around the edges. That's actually the one I was talking about recently. You know, I tried that with the microwave, and 
it's weird because like condensation and moisture builds up on the cards. Like you, if you nuke those cards, like they get air bubbles on them in the back. It's pretty crazy. I actually left them in the microwave, I think for 15 seconds, just trial and airing stuff and literally nuked them to the point where they blew up like a harmonica. <laughs> it's in the video. It's pretty crazy. Maybe I'll have to post that sometimes. But it kind of sucks because I, I didn't solve the problem. Like I said, the 96 Pinnacle that usually brick up, I did solve that by uh, resting them above the space heater for like overnight. They unbricked, no problem. But I really want to get 93 for deck. And Mike Smithson ends that pack out. And the end of the stack for Ryan F. Yeah, I feel like if I can get 93 upper deck unstuck, then I can literally solve many baseball card bricks out there. No matter what, even like the early 2000 tops would be possible. But 93 upper deck is... It's uh, very, very resistant, unwilling to cooperate in all of those different tests that I've done. And we have some bottom box cards here. We have Sandberg, the Mets logo there, Murphy and Hernandez. There's our buddy Joe's card corral. Says no Dennis Lamp. <laughs> the arm arm says nothing worse than brick cards. It really sucks, man, because I, I really only like opening older packs, so it really limits me on like what I can open. Like I said, like 97 Bowman, 98, 99, all that stuff. Like, even like the Don Russ from the mid 90s to the late 90s, like, and 94 per deck, 95 per deck, like they all break together. It's terrible. So, if I can solve this riddle of 93 per deck, I could, then I'd be able to open up all those and not have to worry about it. But I'm not sure how possible that is. I've looked on forums, everything else. I've tried steam, microwave, freezing them hair dryer and literally nothing hey walk off so papa j is up papa j actually won this stack free spot in this break on patreon for the uh giveaway the first giveaway in november i do two a month every other week we do a giveaway on there and this was uh this was it free spot in 87 Fleer. tony Gwynn, first time seeing that one not sure if papa j is in here or not and lee smith Usually I give away like a one or two cards, but I thought it'd be cool to give away a spot in the break. And then uh, next month we're giving away a baseball card candy cane that's going to be full of packs and rookies and stuff like that too. Charlie Huff, first time seeing him. is a single base card in here. And kind of having... And there's Bo Jackson. Nice. About time that one of these cards showed up. Bo Jackson and... Centering left to right is not too bad. Top to bottom, a little off, but uh, finally found the bow. For you guys that haven't seen this card or haven't seen it in a long time, definitely a very iconic card of this era. And what he could have been if it wasn't for uh, the injuries he succumbed to. And there's Papa J cards. It says, thank you for what you do and thanks to all. So Papa J is here. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. And I'm guessing you saw the... Uh, the second pack in, you got the Bo Jackson Papa J. Pretty awesome. Not sure if you had that card in your collection or not. Check out Papa J if you guys aren't subbed to him. Always putting content out there, doing live streams and stuff like that. Dallas F says that's a nice bow. It definitely is. like that one a lot. We have an insert card in here. Tim Raines. Not too shabby there. Haven't seen that one yet. And a Molitor. So looking for Jack Morris and that crazy mustache not looking for that but uh to find a dolly baseball all-star card pretty sweet and there's El Canon again it says john hope the best for your family hope everything is okay great stuff man appreciate all your knowledge check out papa j cards for legit stuff thanks a lot El Canon. really appreciate that man and thank you for the well wishes um the family could definitely use them now i'm not gonna really go into detail and put anyone's business out there but uh eric I'm sure definitely uh, appreciates all your best wishes, you guys. So please check out Papa J and El Canon as well. Give him a sub. Goose Gossage, Carlton, and there's Will Clark. Finally found the uh, Will Clark there, RMM. I think that was you that said that you never pulled out of a pack before. Pretty cool. But definitely centering is off on pretty much all these cards. And I see Barry Bonds coming up too. What a pack. That has got to be the Barry Bonds back there. Clark. And there he is. Papa J, 
Bo Jackson, Clark, and Bonds in the bottom right. That is pretty freaking awesome, man. Definitely off center, but uh, wow. I always liked that card. Definitely another iconic card of the late 80s as well. Definitely off center on the bottom there. But very nice. Very nice. Premont says, or Prime Ant says, boom. RM says, wow, epic pack. Definitely was. So if you guys, it seems like there might be a pattern there with the bottom right of these boxes. If you guys decide to get one for yourself, like I said, you can usually get them for around 40 bucks, maybe sometimes less. Um, that's what I thought. Eric pulled the bonds out of the uh, bottom right when he did it. I think so, at least. So looking really good here, Papa J. Wally Joyner, it's actually his rookie card. And Fitzy says, congrats, Papa J. Mike Maddox. Magic Mets. Pretty cool card. Never saw that one before, I don't think. Paul Ellis' pack was almost as epic as a Quisenberry Plunk pack last week. That was pretty crazy. Quisenberry Plunk and, and uh, Swindell back to back to back. Hunter says, I love Barry Bonds MVP card from 87. So we still have four packs left for Papa J. I wonder if we'll see these guys again. Winfield and Yount. These old junk wax packs definitely have a tendency to repeat themselves. Clemens and Gary Carter. Joe Yankee says, lucky me got that pack. Yeah, that was definitely your stack, Joe. The, uh, the trinity of bad omens last week. So we're not going to do 80s for a while. We're going to move on to the 90s. And like I, like I said, I'm really stoked to do 92 Bowman. I cannot wait. I want to find the Rivera, Piazza, Trevor Hoffman, Manny Ramirez, Delgado. There's a bunch of good rookies in that set. I always like that one. Hoping they don't brick up. I don't think 92 Bowman does brick. Anytime I've packs of those, um, never had any problems with those in, in the past. And I don't think Eric did either. I know he opened a box of those. I don't think he found any of the rookies. I think, like... He kept seeing a bunch of Jeffrey Hammond's uh, USA foil cards. But there is some nice ones in there. So I got uh, definitely got really lucky to get a box of those for like 300 based off of the other sold listings that were like over four. Joe's Card Corral says, thanks to any subscribers or new subscribers to my channel. And Volman says, I bought three junk wax boxes. I'm thinking about saving them for a while. Might not be a bad idea. Eventually, all the junk wax boxes will run out. I feel like we're already seeing them be depleted now. A lot of people buying boxes, and we've noticed prices going up. Just in the past few months alone. I hope it doesn't get to the point where, like, 91 Fleer is, like, the only boxes left, and they're, like, 25 bucks a box. <laughs> that would be awful. Mike Schmidt, again. And Rich Yet. One more pack left for tonight. Papa J, it's been a hell of a stack here, man. Jackson, Bonds, and Will Clark. And then the very first stack, we found the Barry Larkin. So we found all the good rookies. Always was a really creepy card, John Grubb. Joe says, I'm selling the Ultra Rare 89 Greg Swindell starting lap on eBay. Should fetch a pretty penny. <laughs> I didn't know they made a, a Swindell 89. Starting a lot of that's pretty hilarious. Gary Carter, I don't see the sequence for rookies. Necro, Chuck Finley, rookie again. Pedro Guerrero and Lloyd Mosby. And that is it for the 87 Fleer. Pretty good box overall. We found all the rookies we're looking for, every single one of them. And also found some nice all-star insert cards. So that is really it for tonight, guys. I want to thank you for tuning in. Like I said, next Turn Back the Clock Tuesday, it's going to be 92 Bowman Jumbo Box next Tuesday. And uh, I'll see you guys before then, I promise. And then after that, we're going to go into the 90s and do maybe some more oddball stuff that you guys haven't seen in a long time. And I haven't seen in a long time either. So looking forward to that. And um, like I said, thank you again for all the well wishes for Eric and the family. I really appreciate that, you guys. So I will see you guys soon. And there's Prime Man on the way out. It says, thank you, John. Well, thank you, man, for being here, man. I really appreciate that. Please check out Prime Man's channel. Give him a sub. And uh, I'll see you guys all real soon. Have a great night, everybody.